What's in the box? Well, I guess you can tell what's in the box by the uh, title on the YouTube video. Uh, yeah, we're going to be looking at uh, the Forge World um, Hobbit Hole upgrade kit. Not what it's upgrading, but uh, I guess if you've made you yourself one in the past and you want to make it look better. But anyway, we're going to have a look at what it entails. A little short review first. I got to remove the beast from the review desk. Look at him. Can't really review a cat, can I? Well, it's fluffy, it's purry, I'll be back. As a quick uh, cutaway explanation, uh, I've paid for these myself. Um, no, I haven't been sent these for free. Uh, I've paid my own money to Forge World for this piece, so uh, my opinion is my own. I don't like what I see I shall let you know even, to be honest even if I was giving it free from Forge World if I didn't like it I would let you know but let's have a look okay so what actually is in the box uh, hold up. Uh, stuff another box that's what's in the box another box Ooh. Um, okay so yeah you'd get it in this little box I'm expecting it to be a bit bigger Kind of cool though, like that. Made in the UK. Hobbit hole to ring set on the box here, so let's open it up. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. Some sort of colour thing in here. So what is this? Components. That's what I'm gonna be looking at. A nice little picture of it all made up. That's kind of sweet, I like that. Components, so I've all fallen out. I'll have a look at those in a minute. Because there's another there's another thing in here. Oops. Looks like we've got a uh, oh yeah, the standard guide to resin mould kits, model kits. Checked on the 17th of ma. So you get these in all Forge World stuff. There, don't need it. Well, what we're interested in though is this, which is burst out of its bubble wrap. Alright. Um, so effectively it's not a big kit you just get two types of chimney two sort of window dormers these look I think the same these look like the same model yes yeah, so it's got GW4 so they're the same they're the same uh, bit mold, molded twice two different types of chimney and then we have the uh, facade here uh, so but what's nice about it is it's two-sided and there's two different sides to it so you have one with two windows some bricks here and one brick here and then one with just one window but sort of a wattle and daub upper half and brick lower half with some beaming in so I don't know which one I like best but so let's let's get a bit closer shall we <clears throat> so let's first of all let's have a look at the main bit which is this um it's quite nice detail actually i quite like this the tops just smooth because you're going to be doing other things with that same with the bottom sides you've got got some bits to cut off here and if you can see it here a bit of flashing to get rid of filing on the bottom there but all in all it's a uh, quite a nice bit here there's just some little bits to tidy up here depending on which side i use first i might have to buy two so i can have so two of each, I'll see a bit more. There's not something there that needs to get be sorted out there and there. But yeah, so there's the, the facade. It's, it's got a nice window sill here. Probably start off with this one. I don't know, I, don't know, I quite like. I'll, I'll decide that when I actually do a video on sort of putting together a hobby home. I like that, it's all nice detail. The wood grain's really detailed there. You can see that in the light. Try and get the light. Lovely, lovely uh, sort of worn and weathered bricks there, which is cool. 
Nice bit of woodwork here again. Windows are nice. Windows just got to spend a bit of work getting rid of all the little that's standard for any resin or even metal models, plastics. You have to do a bit of work to get the best out of them. I like that on bit on the bottom there where it's a bit a bit worn away. I like that. And I like this door frame. I might actually start this one. Oh, I do like the brick door frame. Ah, I can't make a decision. So these two are the dormers. Uh, they are both the same, so you can really should look at one, I guess. Um, it's a smooth on side, so you're just going to stick them onto the side of a hobbit hole. These lovely uh, sort of shingle tiles. Must be a nice ridge there. I like that. I can see. Hopefully you can see all the detail here. I'm trying to get it as best I can because it is really nice and detailed. Nice tiled window sill, and that window is spectacular. With a nice sort of a uh, wooden uh, frame in there, where you can actually see where they thought about how they would make the wooden frame. So you got the the joins here. Love that. Little details like that tell a story. The uh, chimney here. This is a smaller chimney. Nice bricks there. Big round, you can see it, it's beautiful. Chimney pots. I I don't know how difficult it would be, I'd have preferred the chimney pots to be more hollow, as it were, more all the way down. So I'm gonna have to paint those black, but I would have preferred that. A ho hum. Still better than what I could make myself, so that's brilliant. Then you have this uh, bigger sort of chimney, so it's gonna go on the end, I guess, because you got this lovely. I mean, look at that! You can see all the the weathering on the bricks. It's just astounding. Again, bigger chimney than before, pot than before, but they don't go all the way down. So that is what you get for your money. Well, really, it's not too too badly priced, I didn't think so. so. That's what you're getting for your money. Uh, all in all, I thought it was quite reasonably priced, uh, to be honest, for the detail you're getting. Uh, you, of course, if you want to make a hobbit hole, you are going to have to buy other equipment, as it says in the and Shy book, but that's the joy of terrain making, isn't it? I mean, this is just going to save you a load of work to get something of this high quality. I like this. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased I've got this. I'll probably buy another one so I can have two sides. I'm now gonna plan and get some, get making some Hobbit holes. Uh, yeah, it's a nice short review because there's not a lot you can, not a lot here really as it were, but what is here is good. So uh, thank you for watching. Until the next review we do and on the next video, take care guys. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stick with the channel for many great videos to come.